Hi guys, welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys another small technique or trick that I actually use in my retouching. Most of us, if we shoot in studio, we always have the same problem. Our background or the white background, the white wall is dirty and we have all the dirt here on our image. So this is one thing that we all need to do. We need to sit and retouch all of these ugly spots out of our image, which can take quite long and needs a lot of healing and cloning. So in today's tutorial, I want to show you guys actually a technique or trick to do this quicker and also to not do it with healing and cloning. We're going to use a filter today. Alright, so let's get started on that. First of all, here on my original layer, I'm just going to duplicate that with Command J again. And we're going to write the retouch. Okay, retouch layer. And this is a smart object already. As you guys can see, the small thumbnail down here. That is perfect. I want to have it as a smart object because when I work with filters, I can always go back and forth and tweet my filter again. So that's why I'm using it on a smart object. Okay, next step that I'm going to do is basically go up here to filter and we're going to go all the way to noise and we go to median. Select median and directly you'll see the new window will pop up and in here we have already a slider down here, our radius of our pixels that we can push and tweak a little bit. So basically what happens, I can actually push these pixels down here now and all of my image gets a very subtle, a blurry subtle effect to it but my edges of my model or my person or whatever I shot is still sharp. So I have all these sharp edges and I don't have pixels that blur into each other with the background, which I actually want. So over here now, I tweaked it around to 40, say I'm always going back to 47%. I'm just going to say OK now and directly this technique or the filter will be applied Okay, so now the filter is on our layer and now we actually have, let me just make this a bit bigger here, now we actually have the option to see if this was useful or not. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here onto my image and can directly already see that all of our background is purely white and really nicely blurred and is very nice. Okay, so now I still have the option to actually, if I don't like it, go back here onto my filter down here to median and double click on here a filter and now we can tweak it again. So say for instance this was a little bit too much, then I can actually tweak it down to say 40% or 50% or whatever I want to have. I actually, I think I'm going to keep it at 51, say OK again and that new setup that we just did or the new adjustment will be overtaken again into your Photoshop and onto your layer. So that is pretty much a good technique always to work with a smart object in your layer system if you're working with filters because then you can go back and forth in your system. Okay, so now the new technique has been overtaken, our next adjustment, and now what we're going to do is again go back to our retouch layer here at the top and create a mask. So I'm going to go all the way down here to the new layer mask icon, select that, and we have a brand new mask here on our layer. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go back to my brush over here, select my brush, normal mode, 100 opacity and also I want to choose a black foreground color because we're painting on a white mask. Okay, that's good. Then press Control alt again. I'm just going to feather my brush a little bit. Keep it over there. That's nice to me. I'm working with the Vicuminous 4 board so I'm able to change my wheel size down here. For you that don't have it, go up here to the top and you'll just have to change it here at the top. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with the brush is basically just paint over my model here. So just very carefully over the model here, going to just paint out the model. You will obviously see that at the bottom we're painting in the background a little bit. Don't worry, you're going to fix that in a little bit. First of all, just going along all the edges and just making sure we're covering all the edges. And as you guys can also see, I'm painting really roughly on this. Not really precise, so you can actually do the same. If you want to work a little bit preciser, I would prefer that. But if you want to and if you're in a hurry, you can also use this quick technique when you're just painting over it. Okay, so we cleaned up all of that and we painted out the complete person over here. I'm just going to blend that out just to see if we have a few mistakes. Yes, and we do have. So down here, what I actually did now is just turned off my original layer down here. Okay, so go back to my mask and select the mask to paint again and also a little bit down here. And I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller over here and over there and a little bit over there. Okay, going to turn on my original layer again 
and now I have a brand new background actually which is very clean already if you can see this is our before let me just zoom in a little bit closer here a little bit closer down to the shoes and this is our before and this is our after so before and after quick and easy as we cleaned it up before and after before and after okay let me zoom out a little bit one last technique that I would do to just brighten this a little bit more if I want to I would actually do an adjustment layer on top of that so I would go here to the top adjustments and we're gonna go to levels and also with levels I actually forgot it now but I'm not a friend of mistakes so what we do is hold alt and you'll see if I go here between my two layers here on the side uh, between them and if I hold alt you see this funky icon there so that means that you are actually combining the levels layers with your last layer and clipping it to the retouch layer so s press here hold alt press there and you'll see that this layer automatically with this small arrow clips to the retouch layer okay so it's only affecting our retouch layer now at the top here I'm just going to tweak my levels a little bit and also darken this if you want to or brighten this here you can also see how sloppy I worked actually over there but don't worry then I can actually just go back and just tweak this and just really really brighten it it won't really suit my image now because as you guys can see I've got actually a dark halo around my person which I don't really want so I'm going to take it down a little bit more until we're over here and then most probably create a master shortcut a master layer and go on with my photoshopping the last step that I'm still going to do is press command here select both layers Layers, press command G put it together in a group and call it retouch say retouching and that's my first step of retouching just this image just quickly to show you guys once more again our before and after as you guys can see over here I should have cleaned it up a little bit more but to show you guys quickly this effect how it works on the complete background here's our before and after before and after. So I hope you guys learned something from this quick technique. My name is Manny. If you still have any questions, please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. Happy to help you. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another quick tutorial. Bye-bye.